you're kind of in the way. You kind of need to take a picture now. Go get it. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> All right. So today we leave Duck Mountain Provincial Park, Saskatchewan. Yes. You excited to go? I am. Are you busy? Am I interrupting you? Yeah, don't make me mess something up. Yeah? Because <laughs> yeah. our jacks are 17 feet in the they air. They are, I know. That's where I'm like, okay, now we have to put it back to where it was and it just makes yeah. me nervous. Look how high the, look how high the, uh, pin is compared to the truck is way up there yeah we could put a tent underneath the front of our camper <laughs> and rent it out as a guest house this little guy here i see that fly open all the time when i'm going down the road it clicks in so i just give it a little pop with my hand and then i never have an issue there you go Honey, there's camping here. Look at Where? that. Where? Where? Oh, it's right there. I didn't even see that. Huh? It's a shirtless man throwing his garbage away. Are we supposed really? to take our shirts off too? C what? Uh, let me look at the C5 mail. or C4. They moved us. Yeah, I think it was four. But we're supposed to stop and get our map and I stuff. Didn't know that. Yeah. Um, let me look. Receipt and a map showing your campsite location will be placed in our reservation box located inside the main building near the office door. Go get our receipt. Let's see what that's all about. I haven't seen an American flag in a while. Yeah. Reservation box right here. Look at that. Lickety split, Hudson, C5. Good to go. Ooh, they have DVDs. Might have to borrow one. C5, straight ahead. Look at that. Look at that signage. Woohoo! Love and life. Hi, right here. Oh, that's an overhanging tree. Yeah, big time. Might have to put our Starlink at the front of the driveway of the parking pad because there are a few trees in our spot. All right. 30 amp service that we have? Yeah, it's going to be close. I think it, it'll be fine, but it's gonna be close. What do you mean? From this to this, the slide out. Oh, but we'll yeah. Be okay, I think we'll be close, but we'll be all right. Yeah. Well, is it high enough that it would be go over that part of it right there, yeah, and it would just probably. be the flag, maybe? The wheel well. Yeah. yeah. I think we're okay. So, this spot has 30 amp, but they also have 50 amp, right? Yeah, they have 50 amp service here also. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So kind of pricey because it's $50 um, a night, but it is full hookups. And, and it's the only one here. And it's the only one here. It town. is. Yeah, it's the only RV park here. So I'm assuming a lot of people who are going through the area stop for overnights and things. Yeah, and it gets a good spot for us to kind of get supplies and things like that. There's a town here, a big city, so that'll be good. Getting everything ready, ready for living. Ooh, look at this. Uh, here we go. I came loose. 
the roads were so bumpy on the way here. I mean, we had what, maybe 40 miles of smooth road. The yeah. rest of it was just slamming us. The closer we got to the city of Regina, the better the road was, but there, it's so expansive. Canada is huge, so few people. It's hard to upkeep all the, yeah. all the roads. They were bad. They were, we drove at one point in the 55 miles, now we we're doing 35 the whole way because that, because of that. Yeah. Stuff breaking loose. We've got to fix it. So, what do you think about uh, either tonight or tomorrow night? Are we here Friday night too? Yeah. Well, we got to figure out when we're going to go shopping because I think I'm going to get a new camping chair. Okay. I've had mine for a long time, but my dad was giving me a hard time about it because it's starting to wear like quite a bit. And then the tray is messed up. Let's go know. look. I think we should. Get a rocker. We'll go to uh, Canadian Tire. Okay. Is that a camping store? Yeah, they have, yeah. Oh, really? It's not just camping, but. That was just yeah. tires. Oh, no. Uh -uh. I thought that was a big store for just tires yeah. when I saw it. Yeah, we'll go there. Mm. Eh? <laughs> Dave always puts cones around our Starlink, and I found the perfect cone that he can use. Hey, honey, what do you think? Uh, I get five. Five? five? Okay, we'll buy five extra safe. So this is what we do when we get to a town that has stores and things. So I got a new chair and this is a heated chair. I'm so excited. Needed a new one. My other one was two years old and it was starting to break down a little bit. And so I'm just doing the opening, the unboxing of my chair. Kuma outdoor gear. I like that it has a nice bag. All right. Wow, it's really wrapped in there. Okay. Oh, look at that. Okay. Oh, this is nice. All right, there's my chair. And it's heated. We're just finishing up, packing up and getting ready to leave. We have a show tonight in Montana and we're currently just outside of Regina, Saskatchewan. And Dave said, ah, we gotta get going early, early. Um, he's nervous about something happening. We have to cross the border yet and everything. So we need to get going, but he found some friends, our neighbors, so of course he's chit-chatting <laughs> with them and they seem like very nice people. But uh, come on, Dave, we gotta go. We gotta go. I guess I gotta go and get the shepherd's hook out and, and make him leave. <laughs> Did you say goodbye? Say goodbye, we're leaving here today. Yeah, we need to leave now. Yeah, we gotta go. Can you uh, do me a favor when we're done filming for these people? See how much fresh water we have? Sure, you also have a bunch of stuff in there yet? So. Yeah, I'll get that. Okay, well, chop chop. Okay, chop chop. Oh, is it a let's new go. thing we're doing now? Let's go, let's wow. go. I like it. Today we are at a harvest house in Wolf Point, Montana. Came out of Canada today and rolled in here for a cool little spot to stay for tonight. There are three other rigs coming in today. We are here first and this is the sign. 
the museum. It is pretty cool. Let's go take a look. So we don't have a lot of time today, but we're gonna take a few minutes to look around and uh, before we head off to our show. It's really neat, all this old stuff in here. I didn't even know what half of these machines do. My guess is that this is a teletype, associated press teletype. Looks like this. Look at that. Look at this. This sign up here. Speed limits in Montana. Day, reasonable and prudent. I remember coming out here on a road trip in college and you just went as fast as you wanted to. The only thing they would nail you hard on is if you drove fast at night when the, uh, the deer and the elk and all that stuff are out, they will hit you or they would hit you with a speeding ticket big time. But during the day in good weather, have at it. Dave just ran in to see um, if he could check in and he's going to ask about power because whew, it's 90 degrees out here and it would be really nice to have air conditioning. Oh my goodness. We have a show in a little bit, so we need to get ready. Um, obviously we need to park and everything and then get ready to go to our show and then we have to bring all our gear into the show and set it all up so it's going to be a sweaty, hot night. But that's okay because for me it's better than being too cold. I'm gonna go check it out. Okay, he's gonna go check it out. He always likes to go in first and see where we're supposed to set up and everything. This is a really small town with uh, parking right in front. So we were able to get a spot right out in front and he did talk to the owner um, just the other day. And again today, the owner called us. So I think we'll be okay. See that? No promo? Yeah. Live music, good karma. Love it. Very cool. Here we go. Welcome to another healthy living tip with Jacqueline. So today, my healthy living tip is a recipe. I like to do that now and again. And the recipe for today is bang bang shrimp. So all you need for bang bang shrimp is your shrimp. Um, and I got some really good prawns this time. You need some Walden Farms Thousand Island. You need some hot sauce, so sriracha sauce, hot sauce. Uh, everything but the bagel seasoning and then some olive oil and oh and romaine lettuce as well so i got the bags that are pre-washed because i'm kind of lazy that way <laughs> uh, so i already mixed it all up i put my olive oil in and then i mixed in my prawns my shrimp um, i added a little bit of sriracha sauce so about mm, a teaspoon of sriracha sauce dave doesn't like it too hot and then I added the Thousand Island, a couple tablespoons of that. And then I just sprinkled on the everything but the bagel seasoning. And I really like this stuff. So you can see what that looks like right there. Just mix it all in. Um, the other thing you can do is if you have an air fryer, which I do not just for space, uh, you can uh, air fry your shrimp in that instead. Then I put my romaine lettuce in a bowl. I'm gonna top that off with some shrimp. So look at those nice big prawns. Oh my gosh, so good. All right, so there's your protein. And then the one thing I forgot to mention is avocado. Healthy fat. So here we go. And we're gonna top that with some avocado. How delicious does that look? I'm ready to dig in. That's been another healthy living tip with Jacqueline.
Hey, so we've been going back and forth with Grand Design about our rear jacks. Um, they're too low. And we've talked about this. Remember, we talked about this in other videos where people will pull up next to us on the road and honk and say your jacks are still down or pulling out of a parking lot and slam, you know, slamming them and nothing major, just like as far as declines, something that should normally a trailer should go over and be fine. So we sent, they had us do this string test where you put the string on the back of the bumper and then down at the middle of the rear tire. And if the jack is lower than the string, then they say, okay, we'll help you out. And it is. And it is. But then you send them the picture and they say, well, it's not, the string's not in the right spot. And so my question is, does this string test ever show that the jacks are too low? Or do they just say, hey, just do the string test and we'll show you that they're not too low. But in a real world scenario, they're too low. I mean, anybody can say, well, this is our spec, but the spec is broken. It's like saying, well, our spec on a steering wheel is this big, but it doesn't work very well. Steering wheels are this big for a reason. So it's frustrating because we love Grand Design and we love our rig, but that one is a tough one to get uh, my head around because what happens is if you hit that rear jack on something super solid, like I'm not talking about just boondocking and scraping over some dirt, which we do and we have to watch that, but I'm talking about slamming that parking lot, ripping that thing out and bending uh, all those brackets and that steel because we've heard of people who have done that. So I don't get this spec thing because to them it's right. Mm -hmm. To us, it in the real world, it doesn't make sense. So you've emailed and gone back and forth. We've sent pictures. And now they're saying the rig is too old for them to really help us. But we've been trying to get this solved for a long time. It's frustrating because you really like a company and you really like their product, but then this stuff happens and you just, it doesn't make sense. And so, I don't know, it's frustrating. So. <laughs> hey everybody, thanks for watching another episode of the Border Hookups Go RVing and please remember to subscribe and to ding that bell so that we can let all of you know as to when we have more episodes coming out. If you liked what you saw in this video, please give us a thumbs up and place a comment below because we like to know what you have to say and we hope to see you all out here. We'll see you out here. There's nothing out here. Nope. Hi, there's nothing out here. Nope. We're getting kind of bored. <laughs> At least I know I am. And you're not even driving. I when know. You drive, you're like, I got my, how can I? Can I, I play Yahtzee or something while I drive down the road? Uh, but I think we're coming up to a little town that has a gas station. Finally! And so we'll have to get out and stretch. I'm going to do a count burpees in their parking lot. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. now that you said it, you have to make it so... Yeah, I'm going to do eight count burpees. Okay. Just like grade school. Can't wait. Look, a car. Ooh. Northern Montana. Very northern Montana. Mm -hmm. Like we're riding right along the uh, Canadian border. We are. I can still smell the maple syrup. Ha, ha. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> really doing my best here. Oh, well, I appreciate it, actually. Do ya? Do you really appreciate it? <laughs> I'm not I do. It. Just, just be funnier, though. Just not feeling just, it. Just try a little harder. I know, but my 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 comedy writers can't work in Canada, so. <laughs> Now that we're across the border, they okay. can start sending me new material. Okay. So we're back on track now. Awesome. That works for me.